Welcome to part 2 of WizNotes.com Consumer Arithmetic Tutorial. Alright, let's look at utility bills. Now, utility bills are bills such as your, your water bill, your light bill, etc. And there's a common way in which the price paid for the utility is determined. Normally it's determined by multiplying the cost per unit used by the amount of units used. That's how they determine the amount that you pay. And that amount is usually, this amount I'm referring to is the amount before they had if they have a service charge or if they charge you interest or whatever okay so let's look an, at an example the example says if the rate per liter of water used is twenty dollars and a consumer uses 300 liters for the month of february 2011 what is the total amount due if a service charge of 500 is also charged okay so they are asking us to find the amount due. So the cost of water used, the cost of water used, is equal to the cost per unit used, which is twenty dollars, as I said, multiplied by the amount of units used, which is three hundred, and that is equal to. 20 times 300 that is equal to 6,000 okay but they're telling us that they also have a service charge so the total due is equal to the cost of the water usage is 6,000 plus the service charge of 500 so the total amount due is equal to 6,500. Okay? All right, let's move on. Let's look at um, the next topic, which is salary and wages. So what's a salary? A salary is a fixed monthly income that workers receive. Okay? And gross monthly salary is right here is the salary that a person receives before any deduction is made so you know that they always take deductions from your income like income tax or for some countries education tax and whatever deductions that they make gross monthly salary is the amount before those deductions are made and the net net sorry monthly salary is the amount after all those deductions have been made so those are two things you need to know what is gross monthly salary and what is net net monthly salary so let's look at an example the example says a pharmacist earns 78,000 annually if deductions of 1,500 are made monthly what is the net monthly salary so we know that he makes $78,000 annually and they make deductions of $1,500 a month. So let's, let, let's determine how much those monthly deductions sum to per year. To find that out, we'd have to multiply the $1,500, which is the monthly deduction, by 12 to see how much that sums to per year. And that gives us $18,000. dollars right so to determine the net payment or the net annual salary we subtract that 18,000 from the the gross annual salary amount which is the 78,000 so the net annual salary is equal to the 78,000 
minus the 18,000. That's in pay in deductions for the entire year. And that equals to that equals to 60,000, right? Now, they ask us to find what is the net monthly salary. And the net monthly salary is equal to the net annual salary, which is $60,000 divided by 12. And that is equal to $5,000. So $5,000 is the net monthly salary. Okay? So let's look at wages now the difference between wage and salary is that a wage is a fixed hourly rate so to determine the, the wage that an employee receives we know the fixed hourly rate and then we multiply that by the hours worked and that is shown in this equation right here okay so the basic wage is equal to the hourly rate times the amount of hours worked. So let's look at an example. A factory line operator works 40 hours per week at a rate of $15. What is the basic wage earned per fortnight? So let's look at A first. But A says the basic wage earned per fortnight. Now we can determine the weekly wage. And that weekly wage is equal to $15, which is the hourly rate, times the amount of hours worked per week, which is 40, and that is equal to $600, right? So the fortnightly, fortnight wage is equal to the weekly wage, which is 600 multiplied by two. A fortnight is two weeks, right? Yeah, so that is equal to $1,200, okay? So let's look at part two. Part B says, if the worker worked five hours overtime at a time and a half, calculate the overtime wage earned. No, this is part B. So the worker works overtime. And they said the overtime is paid at a time and a half. A time and a half, which is the same as 1.5, right? One and a half, same as 1.5. What does this time and a half mean? The time and a half here means that the employee is not paid $15 for the overtime hours worked. No. He's not paid this. He's paid 150%. That's what the one point one and a half mean here. One hundred and fifty percent of the the normal hourly rate, but that one hundred and fifty percent can be determined by just simply multiplying the fifteen by one point five. That's why they tell us it like that. So a time and a half. You multiply this. So we multiply the 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 usual hourly rate, which is fifteen by one point five. And this gives us the new hourly rate. And 15 times 1.5 is equal to 22.5 dollars. So to find the amount that he that he earned for his overtime, would multiply this 22.5, which is a new, which is the overtime rate. 22.5 dollars by the amount of hours worked which is 5 and that is equal to 100 and it's equal to what 112.5 dollars and that is the solution that's the answer okay so thank you for watching this installment of with notes of video tutorials and do join us again